Today is a special one for Indiana High School football players in the Wabash Valley. It marked the first official day of practice for the 2022 season. Sports 10 caught up with numerous teams in the area. Few in our area enjoyed a more successful season one year ago than Northview. In fact, the Knights had their best postseason run in program history, beating Jasper and winning back-to-back -back sectional games for the very first time. But as head coach Mark Rates said Monday, that was last year and this is this year. The Knights lost a lot. They have just eight total starters back and most of them are up front. They'll be relying on a lot of new guys at the skill position like Aymir Holman at running back and Kyle Kati at QB, along with possible two fresh at wide receiver. Coach Rate says he knows those guys can play. Now is their chance to prove it. I think the talent is there. It's just a matter of everybody learning their assignments and then going out on the field on Fridays and performing. We got to uh, set the tone for the rest of the team because the, everybody's going to feed off of us. We want people to want to stop us so it opens the door up for other people. At Terre Haute North, the Patriots look nothing like a program that has suffered four straight losing seasons. Optimism really high. They have one of their bigger senior classes in a while with 27 seniors. In his second season, head coach Billy Blundell has six 16 starters back, including some of the top talent in the Wabash Valley and wide receiver Jaden Waite, running back Damon Sturm, and quarterback Bryson Carpenter. The Patriots make no secrets about it. If their stars can produce, they'll make a lot of noise. Oh, it should be a lot of firepower. A lot of firepower. We have big play potential. If we can come together as a team, we have the talent to be really, really special. The, the question is, are we going to be a really good football team? Because that doesn't always go hand in hand. At Terre Haute South, the Braves are looking to regain momentum. They're coming off a one-win season a year ago, but they have several players that could help get them back in the win column. South returns eight starters and 14 players with experience that head coach Tim Heron believes could make the Braves dangerous. Leading the way is star running back Josh Conti along with lineman Jude McCoskey, along with wideouts Nas McNeil and Deshaun Lowe, and up-and-coming QB sophomore Brady Wilson. It's one of the stronger teams we've had in about four or five years. These guys put a lot of work in the weight room. we got great numbers going up. we got more guys squatting over 400, 500 pounds than we've had in a long time here. So we're hoping that pays dividends. A new era got underway Monday at West Vigo. First-year head coach Aaron Clements had the Vikings working hard. West Vigo returned 16 starters. The Vikes won just three games last year, but they think they can build on that this year with a ton of upperclassmen back, including 12 seniors. They have an experienced group that's ready to do big things for their new head coach. I think the senior leadership we got, the kids coming back, they're buying into what we're doing. They've been here before. They've played a lot of Friday night minutes. It's helping bring the younger kids along and bring them up to speed a lot faster. Basically, we're just trying to bring a smash mouth style of football. It's not something that's common anymore, so we want to throw it at people and they don't get to see it all the time. 